What's up, Robbie? How you doing? What's up? I'm good. I'm good. All right, my man. Well, we're excited to talk to you here on the MMA Junkie Radio Show. You'll be leading off the main card at Bellator 201. I've always told people that uh, wherever you're at, it, it kind of is always nice to know when you'll be fighting. Once we get past your fight, you know, you're, everyone else's warm-up doesn't always go according to plan. At least you know that you'll be fighting at 9 p.m. Eastern start time. But I guess my question is more, how long? What, what's your... What's your day of, like, once you get to um, the arena? Like, do you like to chill, play cards, tell jokes? You stay st- serious? What do you like before you go in there and battle? I'm just more, just more calm, just serious. Just, just trying to stay focused on what I need to do when I get in there and, and handle my business. Is it like Mike Tyson says, once you get punched, the game plan goes out the window? How, how is it for you in MMA? Or are you able to remember the things you worked on? And do they, you know, do you are you able to capture everything your coaches are saying so that it's kind of smooth sailing, at least according to if, if the fight's going your way? Um, yeah, it's kind of, kind of the same way with, with, with Mike Tyson says, yeah. As soon as that punch gets thrown, and sometimes the, the game plan goes out the window, but I mean, I, so I still try to listen to my corners when I hear them shouting and, and trying to keep in mind what they're trying to tell me and stuff, but sometimes can't help but get caught in the, caught in the melody and just, just let, let your hands go and try to kick the other person out. So it's kind of a race to sock him before he socks you, right? At least according to Mike Tyson. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, be aggressive. Yeah. That, that does seem to be the theme here, especially with judging, man. Um, you, you can be the dictator of at least some of the criteria depending on what state you're in or what country or what rules are being adopted the style of play of the ref it always goes back to the fighter i believe be aggressive and and let them react to you uh, let me turn it over to my co-host john morgan john what do you have for robbie peralta yeah robbie i just want to ask him mean, he's certainly no stranger to the big show but hey you dealt with a couple losses it stretched out over you know over some time i gotta ask how you know how important it was for you to pick up that win in september and and uh, i don't know just kind of maybe how that affected you how it affected your mindset and uh, you know to get back to winning ways oh yeah just just had to get, get focused uh and get back on the winning side of, of things uh, after taking a few losses in a row, just had to kind of just resettle, get my mind right, and take a little bit of time off, spend it with the family, and just get me focused on everything, on my training, and just uh, get that hunger and that grind back. And what happens when you get the call from Bellator and they want you to, to, to fight a guy in Juan Archuleta who, um, you know, a lot of people might not have heard of him yet. You know, I think he's, 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 uh, he's been kind of grinding on some, there's some regional scenes, but a lot of people are behind the scenes are really high on this guy. So, you know, when they come to you, that the, the people kind of look at it as this prospect, even though he's not a young kid. Um, what's your initial reaction when they, when they offer you that matchup? Uh, to me, it's just, it's just a blessing and opportunity for me to, to go, go back out there and fight for a huge show, especially the Bell Tour. So I'm just really excited about it, no matter who it is. Um, yeah, I'm just ready to get in there and just show what I can do. Do you, uh, do you break down much tape? I mean, he's a guy, again, that doesn't have a lot of uh, big show tape. You know, a lot of people wouldn't have seen him on TV. But uh, at this point in your career, I mean, are you somebody that, that tries to find tape and tries to study as much as you can? Or, or do you feel like, you know, nearly 30 fights in your career, you, you, you've seen a little bit of everything out there? Yeah, I feel like I've seen a lot of everything out there, and, and I'm just I'm ready for anything that he has had to throw at me, and and uh, I don't believe he's he's faced anybody as as uh, as competitive as, as I am, and, and I'm just ready to go and showcase what I could do. 